Can Qigong make you extra resilient? That's going to be the topic of this episode of Qi Life. Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, if you've been following this channel since the beginning, you'll know that I did say um, I'll get into all sorts of different aspects of life, um, as long as they have something to do with Qi. Uh, lately, most of the videos have been tips on Qigong, but we're, you know, we're going to talk about other things as well. And so, in the last few weeks, it took me a little while to get the video footage together, um, but I did have the opportunity to demonstrate some things that, well, you'll see it soon, you'll see some of the footage soon, I, I think show some reasonably extraordinary resilience. And this was as part of a Kung Fu grading uh, for the Kung Fu school that I run. So you may not have known, um, as well as Long White Cloud Qigong, which I'm sure some, hopefully quite a few of you have seen the videos and the courses that we offer. Um, I also have, there's Long White Cloud Kung Fu. Um, and and so yeah, we I, I teach Kung Fu and help to run the classes and things there. So what does this have to do with Qigong? Now, um, you're going to see some of the footage soon. I, I demonstrated a few different things, and and as a note, I always, um, I, I, I never tell people to take this sort of thing too seriously. You know, um, some of the things I'm I'm going to show you are very difficult to do. You need to be well prepared. Some of them are not as hard as you think. You know, they they might not be as hard as it as it appears, but some of them really to take quite a bit of skill and uh, uh, you shouldn't do unprepared. So with that in mind, I will show you the footage now. So the first one is simply of breaking chopsticks um, at the base of my throat. Now if you know something about human anatomy, I did film this from a couple of different angles, um, so hopefully you can see that okay. If you know something about human anatomy, that this area here, all there is is a very thin layer of muscle and connective tissue, that's it, and then you're straight in. Um, and that's why they do tracheotomies here. It's very easy to penetrate and then get um, into the windpipe and you can, you know, allow someone to breathe and so on. And so, yeah, the idea that this, this shows some resilience, the ability to strengthen parts of your body beyond what would uh, you would normally think they're capable of. Um, then, let's see, what did I do next? Okay, these are hopefully the kind of an order of visual um, uh, interestingness or impressiveness. Not necessarily difficulty, but visual interest. So the next one is being kicked in the groin. So you can take a look at that now. All right, ready? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I got the photo. Oh, you did? Yeah. Let's do, do one more. One more. Here we go. Did we get some good photos? Good one. Cool. And, uh, yeah, there are a few details to this one. Again, not something that I would suggest you do without preparation. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, I mean, once you know how to do it, and you're skilled at it, it's not that hard. I, I guess that's true with lots of things. Um, they can seem and be very difficult to begin with, but they they become easy over time. And there are Qigong practices that help you with this one. Okay, moving on. The next one I did was being jumped on. Um, you may not know, <laughs> years ago, I haven't done much of this in a long time, but years ago I did a lot of this when I was traveling around teaching workshops. It was just a fun thing to do. And I have a whole separate YouTube channel called Jump On John. You can look that up if you're interested. And you can see lots of people jumping on me all, all, all over the world. Now, um, this next jump in particular was a more impressive one. I got it from a couple of different, uh, different angles because um, you can probably tell from the video. I'm quite large and he's even bigger. Um, so that's a decent weight to being being jumped on. Oh. 
Okay. Um, and so now the last one, the grand finale. Um, this one is not as challenging as you might think. Um, my main hesitation with this one, and the reason why you, you won't see many videos of me doing this, is that construction materials are so expensive in New Zealand. And so the concern is to make sure you get it done properly in one go because you don't want to break any more concrete pavers than you need to. But here this one is. Oh, um, this one was still Yeah. Should we have a look? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> <laughs> Speed it up or slow down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, it's quite heavy. Okay. Are we ready? Cameras and video ready? Yep. And there you have it. Okay, so hopefully that was interesting. Like I said, something a little bit different for, for this channel. Um, but what's, what's the point of all that? Or what does that have to do with Qigong? Practicing Qigong can really make you resilient. Now these are demonstrations of physical resilience. And as I told my students um, prior to doing these demonstrations, my main tool for developing my ability to do this it's not push-ups and sit-ups and exercises like that there is some specific kung fu training that i did as part of that but the main thing is actually the qigong that i've practiced um, the kung fu is part of it but the bigger part is the qigong because that develops the strength and the resilience from inside um, and this is you know the the, the benefits accumulate little by little, this sort of thing. What kind of practices do I use for that? Um, a lot of them, again, if you're familiar with the Long White Cloud Qigong uh, courses, may be practices you're familiar with. Twelve rivers, between heaven and earth, enter the flow, release the power of your breath. Those are the main ones. There are some others as well, but those are the main ones used to develop this resilience. You build this resilience from the inside, internal resilience, not just the external muscles, but strength from the inside that supports you from the inside. And uh, yeah, that, that, that develops little by little, a little bit like dripping, dripping little by little as you practice a lot, you develop this deep internal resilience. You may also be aware this isn't just about physical resilience. You also can develop mental and emotional resilience. And we talk about that a bit in some of the courses, particularly between heaven and earth. We talk about that quite a lot. But these other practices all feed into it. All of the different Qigong practices really help to contribute to your resilience. So you may not be interested in having people jump on you or breaking chopsticks on your throat or getting kicked in the groin or um, having concrete pavers broken on you. But that resilience, that physical, mental, emotional resilience can be so, so valuable in life. It helps you to deal with the rough things that happen and, and interact with different situations, quite simply just not being phased, be able to go in calm, clear, focus and do what you need to do. So again, I don't suggest anyone take these things too seriously. They are a bit of fun, a bit of fun demonstration. Um, and hopefully a little bit of a fun different video uh, for this episode of Chi Life. If you've enjoyed this video and hopefully you enjoy the other Chi Life videos as well, please like, comment, subscribe, share with other people. Something else, if watching all this, if you've had any ideas about what I should title this video, because there's so many different titles I could give it, I might actually change it a few times, because uh, you can change the titles of videos um, from time to time. 
um, maybe leave that in the comments below because I'd be interested to hear what you think would be the best title for it. Okay, um, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.